And now let's move forward in this Grand Prix attack main line. We have different move orders. White start the game with f4. We have c5. You can transpose the game into that if you like. e4, knight c6, knight to c3, g6, knight f3, bishop d7. And here is uh, the big question, the critical uh, white have to make a critical choice. He has to develop the bishop, of course, and he has two good options. One of them is on c4 and the other one on b5. In this particular game, we are going to see bishop c4 and in the next one, bishop to b5. Now we have d6, short castling, e6. Black tried to a barrier with the pawns here, as you can see, and mainly try to stop this f5 idea. But uh, white played this f5 in any case, as you can see in Grand Prix attack, we are going to play this one and in conjunction with the bishop, we are, we are trying to open up lines and attack on f7. We have pawn takes, queen e1, continue with a typical maneuver, knight g to e7, black is not uh, there to capture more pawns uh, here, to open up more lines, because it's more important to develop his pieces, d3, short castling, and now white continue, Na queen h4. If uh, black do nothing here, then white's attack is extremely easy to continue. Bishop to h6 is uh, the first move, knight g5, then he can capture there and deliver checkmate on h7. Simple as that, we can continue the game, right? So black tried to complicate the matters a little bit and he played this uh, b5 move, tried to relocate this bishop from his good spot on c4. So we have knight takes on b5, knight e5, try to exchange some pieces and mainly this bishop, but uh, white continue with uh, bishop to g5. This uh, knight is under attack right now, so black don't have time to capture the bishop. Rook e8, overprotecting this uh, knight, knight takes e5, bishop takes e5, and now e takes f5. Bishop takes f5, and here it's uh, white's turn. It's a very nice uh, moment for you. Try to pause the video and try to think how to continue the attack with uh, white pieces. It's white's turn and white have a very nice... Uh, uh, actually, not only one move, he has more than one move, but what we are going to play. And here, one of the best moves is g4. Try to kick away that bishop because, as we mentioned, this uh, f7 square is um, vulnerable. And now I hope you had foreseen bishop to e6 is the only move. Bishop takes, pawn takes, and uh, what you are going to do now. Because it's another very nice moment. White have fantastic and very, very active pieces in the king's side, as you can see. But uh, we should continue the attack. How white can continue the attack? This is the question. And here he found this amazing sacrifice. I, I really love these sacrifices when we place a piece in an empty square. And we didn't capture there, we didn't do anything there, we just moved the piece. But uh, this is um, a very nice move because we're threatening now to capture an h7, deliver uh, checkmate. And after king takes f7, the idea is to capture on, uh, on h7. This is a check, so the bishop has to go... Uh, in front of the king, we have another check here, knight uh, f5, and as you can see, black has to do such moves in order to give little space to the king to close this uh, file, so he is forced to give something back, and now white captured uh, uh, the queen. So after this uh, combination, white managed to capture the queen, and now he has totally winning position, the game continues, rook a takes uh, d8, pawn takes on f5, pawn takes on f5, queen h4, a6, knight c7, attacking the rook here, the knight can relocate it on d5, we have a check, king went on h1, this is nice, rook h8, try to create some counterplay, but actually he don't have a lot of things to do, queen drop back on uh, e1, now bishop to e5, attacking the pawn, so uh, the rook uh, is uh, immediately uh, there to protect the pawn, but here we have rook to d7, knight d5, and black played an, another very nice move, uh, bishop uh, g3. Try to create some tactics, of course the pawn cannot capture the bishop, and he pinned this rook on f2, because the queen is uh, behind. But white has a lot of uh, material advantage, and now black cannot do anything at all. He found it, it's a good tactic, but it's not working, white still winning. He found this very nice counter-attacking move, queen, h, uh, queen c3, attacking rook h8, so black doesn't have time to capture the, 
uh, the rook, we have bishop uh, on e5 and queen c4. Now everything is uh, very active from uh, white side. He is threatening to create some discover attack with that knight. He can go away with the knight to attack the king. King to f8, knight f4. He is threatening another fork here. Bishop takes, queen takes, and as you can see, uh, black is uh, lost now. He is losing because we have uh, a queen for the rook. This is um, the material in balance. It, it's very easy for white to to start attacking some pawns, for example, or start pushing his short pawns. And sooner or, la or later, he is going to create a strong attack against the enemy king. I hope you enjoyed that video, and please remember that one of the key ideas here is bishop c4. Try to create some attack against uh, f7 pawn. You can try this uh, uh, this system actually in your games and you are going to see how easy, how easy it is for you to play that uh, system. And if you like more help, you are very welcome to click uh, in, uh, in the link to, to read my article. I created an article for you about this opening and of course I have a more advanced lessons for you. So, thank you very much and see you soon.